I'm Lawrence Tyndall here at Glidefast Consulting, and in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a map report in ServiceNow. Map reports are excellent to use on dashboards, as they allow you to easily visualize and pin records geographically on a map view. Map reports are commonly used for displaying data such as incidents by country, assets by country, security breaches by country, and new employees by city and state. The possibilities are truly endless with this type of reporting. Whatever your use case is, there's most likely a way to visualize your data on a map report. Map reports also allow you to drill into the map visualization when you're wanting to go deeper into a location's hierarchy. For example, you may be looking at the United States and you see a large amount of incidents being created in the state of California. With the drill down functionality, you can drill into the state of California and see which cities the incidents are being created from. This type of functionality is great as it allows you to go from a 10,000 foot view and then right into a detailed view. Now that we've covered what map reports are, let's go into ServiceNow and create one. In today's tutorial, we're going to create a map report for purchase orders by location. This will allow our procurement manager to see all purchase orders across the globe and display which countries they're being placed from. The first thing you'll want to do is open up ServiceNow and in the application navigator, type in map sources. Under the administration application, click on the map sources module. You'll now see a list of map source records. Map sources are basically records that are used when generating a map report, which tell the map what records should be loaded and displayed. To create a new map source, click on the new button. A blank map source form will now load. In the first field, name, this is the name which describes this map source. In this field, I'm going to enter purchase orders by location. In the next field, table, this is the table in which we'll be building our map source data from. In this example, I'm going to select the PROC underscore PO table for purchase order records. Now that we've selected the purchase order table, we have to select a field in which its values will be used to display on the map report. In this example, I'm going to select the ship to location field because this is where the purchase order location records are referenced. Now click on the save button to save this map source. Now that the map source record has been saved, you'll notice we have a related list on the form for map sources. This related list displays all of the child locations that are contained in the map source level hierarchy. Instead of creating the map source levels manually, I'm going to do this automatically by clicking on the Generate Map Source Levels link that's located underneath the Related Links header. Click on the OK button in the browser pop-up. You'll now see this following information message. This message confirms that the map source levels were automatically created for the data source. And we have three levels of location data available to use. If we go back into the map source record and go down into each level that was created, you can see that we have a three level hierarchy that goes from country to state and then to city. This hierarchy is perfect for the report we're going to build. Now that we've set up the map source and generated the hierarchy, let's go and build the report. In the application navigator, type in reports and click on the create new module located in the reports application. In the first field, Report Name, we're going to enter Purchase Orders by Location. And in the Source Type field, we're going to leave this as Table, since the records we're looking to report on are stored in a table. And in the final field, Table, I'm going to select the PROC underscore PO table, as this is the table with our purchase order records in it. Now in this part of the Report Builder, we want to scroll down and select the Map Chart Type. Now on the configure screen, we need to configure the map report. In the first field, aggregation, we want to select the aggregation of the data. For this report, we would like a count of purchase orders by location, so I'm going to keep the count option. From the map this data field, click on the drop down menu and you should see the purchase orders by location 
map source that we previously created in this tutorial. And for the set map field, I'm going to leave it as world, but if you wanted to focus the map on a specific country or state, you could do so by selecting that country or state. Now click on the next button. On this screen, you can see that the map report has now been generated and you can see all of the purchase orders around the globe. You'll notice that you can drill into the map to look at purchase orders in their respective country, state and city. From here you can save the report, share it with others and even add it to a new or existing dashboard. And that is all for this tutorial on creating a map report in ServiceNow. Good luck and thanks for watching.